there's a lot of different variations and different ways to rig this. Certain patterns have been working really well. This week's Fuzz Bite Report, this week's snapping it off the bottom. This is just a remarkable concentration of fish. Real good fish. Oh, she looks so nice. Wow. Unreal. Look at that. They are heavy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Welcome back to another exciting season of Angling Buzz. Today we're talking big water, big fish. I'm Troy Linder. And I'm Nick Linder. You know, across the upper Midwest, we do have a lot of big water, obviously the Great Lakes, and there's many other big lakes across our region. And what's nice about the early season is you have big concentrations of big fish, and also they can be easily accessible by shore and small boats. Yeah, absolutely, Troy. And why are they up shallow? Usually for two reasons. Either it's related to the spawn or it's because they're up eating. Either way, it's a lot of fun when they're up in the shallows. The reason why I like this time of year is because you're not way out in the lake with downriggers or lead core. Um, it's more of a combat fishing, hand to hand, whether you're pitching jigs or uh, pitching crankbaits or ripping wraps, which is really big out east of here, and the, that Green Bay walleye bite. Yeah, you can really keep the presentations nice, simple, and easy. So right now, let's take a closer look at big water, big fish. The Midwest has a myriad of fantastic fishing options. From lakes and rivers to creeks and reservoirs, they all offer their own unique mix of fish species and angling opportunities. Some of the Angling Buzz region's best fisheries, particularly for large fish, are big water venues. These are big rivers, big lakes, and the bays and rivers of the Great Lakes. In the Dakotas, you have the mighty Missouri River. In Minnesota, Leech Lake, Mille Lacs, Lake of the Woods, and Lake Vermilion are all fabled fishing hotspots. In the great state of Wisconsin, Lake Winnebago, Schwamigan Bay of Lake Superior, and Green Bay of Lake Michigan come to mind. In the state of Michigan, Lake St. Clair, Grand Traverse Bay, and the western basin of Lake Erie are all go-to angling destinations. Lots of habitat, food, and clean water is the foundation of these fisheries. Big water can often equate to large numbers of big fish of all different kinds. Trout, salmon, walleye, bass, muskie, and panfish are all available. The key to big water fishing is finding the fish. For many anglers, these big waters may seem intimidating. The fact is, in many areas, you can find seasonal concentrations of fish where even small to moderate sized boats can easily access these fantastic fishing opportunities. Being in the right place at the right time on big water is the focus of today's angling buzz. As you can see, there's a lot of big water opportunities to catch some big fish across the upper Midwest. Here in our backyard, a couple of my favorites, Leech Lake, Lake Mille Lac, and going a little bit east for early season giant smallmouth fishing. I know you've been there before and caught some big fish there. We're talking about Sturgeon Bay. Yeah, absolutely, Troy. Sturgeon Bay, I had the opportunity to go there a couple years ago, or a few years ago, I should say, when the population was really peaking as far as the size structure of the fish, and it was insane. I would say it was absolutely one of my favorite spring bites I've ever been on. Tournaments at the time were kicking. It was a six fish limit, I remember one event, and the weight to win was 36 pounds. And you're sight fishing them, you see them swimming by, throwing jigs and tubes in front of them and whatnot. So that's a really fun bite. And not only that, I'm sort of waiting for like a month from now when muskie fishing opens up, where uh, I'll be heading up to Lake Vermilion. I had the opportunity to go there a couple years ago and they were chomping and it was a lot of fun and the fish were huge. Yeah, Vermilion does have some really, really big fish. After the short break, we have the first of our Buzz Bite reports, as well as our highlight destination feature. Stay with us.
Help your engine run smoother and last longer with Seafoam Marine Pro. Get it today at Fleet Farm. And while you're there, enter for a chance to win this boat in the Seafoam Marine Pro sweepstakes. Seafoam Marine Pro, available at Fleet Farm. At Don Alinger Auto, the customer comes first. That's why they've been in the automotive business for over 50 years. They pride themselves in making real connections with real people. They're auto experts and active community supporters. Buying, leasing, new, or pre-owned, Don Alinger's top-notch service stands above. They'll keep you on the road and on the water. Stop in for a visit to see the excellent variety or shop at home at DonAlingerAuto.com. Explore Alexandria, Minnesota. Whether it's a long weekend or a week long loaded with family fun, you'll find plenty of things to do in Alex. Unleash your inner explorer with over 300 lakes, beaches, parks, hundreds of miles of trails, dining, golf, shopping, museums, and history. Alexandria is Minnesota's hidden gem. Go to explorealex.com to find your vacation this season. Welcome back to Angling Buzz. Coming up next, we have our highlight destination feature. We're heading over to Michigan. Now, Michigan is an amazing state with a lot of different fishing. Streams, rivers, big lakes, small lakes, obviously the Great Lakes. And this time of year, they're catching giant steelhead waiting in the rivers. And another thing when I think about Michigan, clear water fishing. Yeah, no doubt about it, Troy. And when I think about clear water, I think about sight fishing. And in this segment coming up, Captain Chad Diltz from Sportfish Michigan, as well as my dad, James Linder, are gonna be sight fishing for lake trout in Cisco in 30 foot of water. What, what do you think? I think we're gonna go out here and have a good time in some clear water. <laughs> this is a really interesting mission right now. I'm with uh, Chad Diltz with uh, Sportfish Michigan, and we're on Grand Traverse Bay. They got a really interesting fishery out here, and it's vertical fishing for uh, lake trout in Cisco. Yeah. They're they're a lot of fun, and uh, you know the cool thing about this time of the year is is the water is really cold. And it's just starting to gradually warm up on the breaks, so we don't know what we're gonna get. I mean, one cast might be a lake trout. The next cast might be a whitefish, and then next thing you know, you catch 15 Cisco in a row. So yeah. it's really exciting. The one thing really interesting about this area, Chad, I'd never been to uh, Grand Traverse Bay. I've actually had the good fortune to fish all over the Great Lakes, and uh, this is a really a tremendously beautiful area. I mean, this is like a tourist destination. I mean, with all the vineyards and the, uh, the cherry trees. The state of Michigan has to be one of the most beautiful in the continental U.S. It is known as the Great Lakes State, home to Henry Ford and the Motor City Detroit, Motown, Stevie Wonder, Kevin Van Dam, Kid Rock, Bob Seger, Madonna, Francis Ford Coppola, and don't forget the Motor City Madman, Uncle Ted Nugent. Here is an interesting fact thanks to Wikipedia. A person in the state is never more than six miles from a natural water source or more than 85 miles away from a Great Lakes shoreline. So with all that being said, the entire state has immense fishing opportunities everywhere. And Sport Fish Michigan is your online connection. That is the great thing, James, about Sport Fish Michigan is, you know, we, we really try to focus a lot of our efforts in the Traverse City region, whether it be you know, the, the, the salmon or the steelhead, whitefish and the lake trout to the tremendous smallmouth bass fishery um, that we have up here. But we're not just limited to just this area. You know, we, we offer walleye jigging on the Detroit River. Um, you know, we have captains that are part of Sportfish Michigan that can get you out for muskie on St. Clair, um, walleye on Saginaw Bay. So we have a network of guides that can pretty much fulfill your needs. Yeah, you really uh, sort of specialize in this. Oh, there you got one on. The, uh, but you do a lot of uh, steelhead fishing too and river fishing, don't you? Yeah, I do. And that's kind of how Ben and I connected is, uh, you know, I uh, do a lot of guiding on the rivers and both out of, you know, the salmon ports. And uh, it's, 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 it's really good up here. You know, we have a good native natural reproduction population and we have a good planning program. Oh, nice are, fish. Aren't they beautiful? Nice. They're amazingly cool. That's a Look chunky. Look at these things. I know the water in here, it almost looks like salt water. It's just amazing. It's so clear. 
Yeah, there's some great fishing in Michigan. You know, a lot of the tributaries right now are open for fishing. Going over to Wisconsin, uh, inland walleye fishing coming up next, next weekend is open. And a lot of the rivers, the border rivers, you know, Minnesota and Wisconsin are open for fishing. This is also a good time here in Minnesota for panfish. Our neighbors to the west, the Dakotas, that's pretty much wide open for just about everything. Yeah, no doubt about it. And here where we live in Minnesota and even in Wisconsin, the inland lakes, you can't target walleyes, pike, or bass. But that doesn't mean that you have to be pacing the shores, waiting for fishing opener. Instead, you could be taking advantage of what, in my opinion, is one of the most enjoyable panfish bites of the year, and that's the early season crappie spawning bite and pre-spawn bite. And that bite can be absolutely dynamite. Yes, it can. And also this time of year in Minnesota, I'm, you know, I like to sneak out for some carp as well. <laughs> right now, it's time for the first of our buzz bite reports. For our first report of the 2019 season, we're going to check in with Doug Wegner on Green Bay. I'm out here with Michael, who just caught his biggest walleye, and we're catching these post-spawn fish right now along the shores of the Ocano and Peshigo area. We're looking for pockets of warm water anywhere from 46 to 51 degrees, and also using our side imaging to really see where those schools of fish are. There's a lot of water out here, but you can really narrow a lot of it down fast with mega imaging and be able to locate those schools and making drifts over them. As far as baits, Rip and wraps are still the deal. Number sixes and number sevens, super good. Custom colors are also, you know, play a factor, I always say it. Green Bay fish are super picky when it comes to colors. So having a variety of colors in your boat is super key. But if you guys want to get out here right now, catch some big priest post spawners, it's a great time to do it. Right. I've had the opportunity to spend quite a bit of time in the boat with Doug, but I've never had the chance to go over to Green Bay to catch those big, big walleyes. Now don't go anywhere because when we come back, we have more buzz bite reports to come as angling buzz continues. According to Minnesota's Department of Natural Resources, in 2017, 97% of boaters surveyed by watercraft inspectors followed Minnesota's clean drain dispose laws. Let's keep it this way. Clean aquatic plants and animals from boats, trailers, and equipment. Drain all water from watercraft, including the motor, and keep drain plugs out during transport. Dispose of unused bait properly. Together, we're preventing the spread of aquatic invasive species in Minnesota. Looking for the perfect fishing vacation? Leech Lake, Minnesota. There's over 112,000 acres of water to explore with fantastic walleye, bass, pike, panfish, and trophy muskies. The fishing opportunities are endless. Leech Lake has it all with over 30 resorts, lodges, campgrounds, and hotels line its pristine shores. Plan your trip. It's Minnesota's original up north vacation destination. Having spent a lifetime fishing all over North America, I know a lot about water, wind, and waves. Water can be an inviting place, and yet at the same time, it can also be very unforgiving. With a simple push of a button, this fully adjustable Smooth Moves Air Suspension is designed to tame the waves and give you a smooth and comfortable ride no matter what conditions you face. Tame the water, wind, and waves with Smooth Moves. Help your marine engine run smoother and last longer with Marine Pro from the makers of Seafoam Motor Treatment. Just pour it in. Fast starts and smooth running power have never been this easy. Seafoam Marine Pro, available at Fleet Farm. Lake Vermilion. Explore. Relax. Reconnect. Minnesota's most beautiful lake. Oh. Get hooked on our trophy wall. That's a beauty. Bass. My favorite fish. Musky fish. That's a beauty there. Things to do? You'll never get bored. Rooms with a view? We got them. Lake Vermilion. Four seasons of fun. Okay, let's do it. Wow, that's a big boy there. That's unbelievable. Look at the size of that beast. Welcome back to Angling Buzz. For our next report, we're gonna to head to Western Minnesota, the Alexandria region, where Joe Seguira has been chasing panfish. 
Our ice went off only a week ago and we already have some great crappie action around the area. Those shallow black bottom bays warm up the quickest. The second to warm up would be probably the north side of the lake. So that's where you're gonna find your fish right now. Um, getting some really nice crappies, uh, a lot of big fish, as well as uh, some um, sunfish mixed in there too. So just a small uh, a waxworm under a float and a jig or uh, crap minnows as well. Um, both of those been, seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, even some uh, tube jigs like small little plastics uh, tipped with a minnow or just plain as well, depending on on the body of water, but uh, just uh, hitting these areas, just keep moving. They're gonna be fairly aggressive when you find them. Um, and uh, so if you just keep on the, on the move, you'll, you should run into uh, some good fish. Shifting gears a little bit, we're gonna head over to Leech Lake where Brian Brosdahl is gonna be talking about walleye opener. Remember, Leech Lake this year, you're allowed to have one over 20. So the slot has changed to allow opportunities for anglers to harvest a little larger fish. So four fish, one over 20. Jig and a minnow is really popular. If you can get spot tail shiners, that is the natural bait. If you can't find any spot tails, goldies will work, fat heads will work, rainbows or a red tails. This is what I'm gonna be throwing uh, with a spot tail shiner. Find a windswept shoreline in four to eight feet of water and you're gonna find lots of walleyes. Mostly males, but there's gonna be a few bigger females and then jumbo perch are in the cara beds or old cabbage and then there's crappies and bluegills in the warmer areas the harbors of course good luck fishing be safe and make sure to keep your boat clean from invasive species next up let's head up to lake vermilion and prepare for the season with billy rosner shaping up to be another great year up here on lake vermilion Some strong walleye year classes and that keeping size fish those 13 to 16 inches and plenty of fish in the slot and over the slot. So it's gonna be a really, really good year again up here on the lake for the walleye fishing. When you're getting your equipment ready, going over your boat, your tackle and stuff, don't forget the boat trailer. The boat trailer is often neglected. Just take a little time to look at your straps, go over your tires, grease your wheel bearings, check out your, your bunks or your rollers, make sure they're in good shape, none are broken. Make sure your winch strap is in good shape. Sometimes they get frayed. If they're frayed, replace that. Make sure your safety chains are good. Your light connections going into your vehicle are good. Don't neglect that trailer, keep it in good shape. For our last report of the show, let's head east to Michigan, where Captain Ben Wolf has been on a multi-species bike. For those of us in the Lower Peninsula, the long-awaited walleye season is now open. In the Upper Peninsula, it's not until May 15th, so you have to wait a little bit. But on the inland lakes, because of the cold spring that we've had, things are still kind of backed up, you know. So those fish are still in the, relating to that spawning area, and some of them are still spawning, you know, because of that cold water that we've had. Spring has really, you know, kind of backed everything up statewide, and that's actually been a lot of fun to be able to get after some fish that we might not have otherwise. On the Detroit River, it's absolutely on fire right now. We have a gigantic class. Uh, the 18 to 22 inch eaters coming out of Lake Erie are providing lots and lots of action for those that are vertical jigging as well as hand lining. For the you know, angler looking for the steelhead action, on the rivers like the Muskegon, the Grand River, the Manistee, big numbers of steelhead are still in the rivers. You know, we're seeing the fish drop back after they've spawned, but we're also seeing some straggler uh, chrome fish coming in to spawn still, and that should provide some really fun action for those that are wanting to get after the steelhead. You know, that steelhead bite really looks like a lot of fun, and I definitely need to get over there. Now, don't go anywhere, because when we come back, we have cool products and the technique of the week as angling buzz continues. Sportfish Michigan is your number one source for top charter captains and fishing guides in Michigan. Our network of professionals are full-time anglers with years of experience providing customers with the best possible fishing trip services. Fish for trout, salmon, steelhead on Lake Michigan or its famous tributary rivers, the Traverse City area's world-class smallmouth bass, walleye fishing on the Detroit River and Saginaw Bay or Northern Michigan spectacular ice fishing. We do it all. Sportfish Michigan. Get out. Get bit.
From casting for fish to cruising the lake, Fleet Farm has what you need for a day out on the water. Whether it's keeper running like new season, not sharing this spot with anyone season, or even best day ever season. There's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, you don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm, built for real life. And now it's time for our cool products brought to you by Fleet Farm. This is early season, of course, in the upper Midwest. And for many of us, uh, the first time that our boat would be in use for many, many months. So from Seafoam, this is a new Marine Pro series, a little bit different formula than regular Seafoam. This helps to clean and stabilize the fuel as well as keep the upper uh, motor parts working properly. This treats up to 30 gallons of fuel. It can also help stabilize fuel for up to two years from Seafoam, new Marine Pro. And also to make sure that your outboard is running fine before you even put it into the lake. From Atwood, this is the dual motor flusher. You just attach this to the uh, water intakes in your lower unit, attach that to a hose, and you can run water through your system uh, and make sure that your outboard and everything is running properly before you put it in. This is from Atwood, the dual motor flusher. And safety is obviously important when we're talking about cold water. So having a good life vest, that's also comfortable. This is from Onyx, the Onyx Insight A33. It automatically inflates if you go in the water. It also allows your arms to move freely. It's a really fantastic, high quality product. One of the best life jackets that you can get from Onyx. And to help keep you warm in this cooler weather, from Blackfish, this is the Zenith soft shell. The inside has a really nice fleece lining. You have waterproof zippers here to keep your valuables nice and dry. You have an adjustable little cuff here to make sure that the water doesn't get up in your arms. And the hood here can easily be adjusted on the front. And a zipper on the back so you can take this off as well if you don't want to have it with the hood. This is a fantastic, fantastic soft shell. The Zenith from Blackfish. And for presentations, we're going to start over here the Whistler Jig, the UV Whistler Jig to be specific from Northland Tackle. You can see the propeller on the front of this. What that does is it helps slow the fall. And a lot of times in cold water, that's key to getting bites. You can put soft plastics on the back of this, live baits as well. Uh, Northland Tackle, they know jigs really well. This is the UV Whistler Jig. And for hard baits, front and center right here, tried and tested, Rapala Down Deep Husky Jerk, uh, the original Husky Jerk, as well as the original floating Rapala. And another hard bait uh, from Berkeley here, this is the Flicker Shad series. Now what's unique about these is these are exclusive Fleet Farm colors. I know many people are very specific on their colors. So with this, you get colors you can't get anywhere else but Fleet Farm. And over here, this pliers here, this kind of looks a little bit different. This is from Offshore Tackle. This is the crankbait tuner. As an offset, you can see two little offset lips on this. You have an adjustable spring there. And if you're trolling and you want specific movements on your crankbaits to get the right depth, to get it to run perfect, this is absolutely key. It's much easier to use than like a needle nose pliers. So check this out from Offshore Tackle, the crankbait tuner. And lastly, over my shoulder here, you see the Smooth Moves Ultra. This is an absolute back saver. If you've ever ridden on one of these seats, you'll never go back to normal seats again. This thing is just incredible. You, it adjusts, you can swivel it, uh, lock it in place, move it front and back, and the tension in the front adjusts to weights up to 100 pounds, up to 300 pounds, and it's, it's just incredible when you're in big water and big waves. From Smooth Moves, the Smooth Moves Ultra. All these products, they're available at your local Fleet Farm store as well as online at fleetfarm.com. And right now, it's time for our Technique of the Week. We're joining Nick Nault with some trolling strategies. Today, as we're fishing these brown trout, we're trolling right now. And I like to run uh, anywhere from a 7.5 to an 8-foot trolling rod. Um, we were always, I like to always run 10 pound mono on these things. I think braid gets a little too heavy. Mono seems to work much better in this shallower water, uh, especially when it's clean. And for the most part, we're running just a plug bait, minnow style, I prefer. So right now we're in about six feet of water. I'm just gonna let this one back about 40 feet and we're gonna start there. Uh, hopefully we can keep it off the rocks here. Uh, but once I get this out, 40 feet, I'm always running line counter reel and keep consistent how far out that your, that your bait is. We've been running offshore planer boards and we'll just let those out. 
and let the, let the board do its work. Sometimes these planer boards work a little bit better when it's rough too, because they can, the board actually gives that bait some, a little bit of motion going up and down the waves. It'll speed up the bait and slow down the bait, sometimes just enough to make that fish bite. Almost as if you were casting and either were running jerk baits or just slowing and speeding up your presentation. The reason they're here is this water warms up faster than anywhere else. Right now, we're fishing 43 degrees. If we slide out a quarter mile, it can be as low as 34 right now. Uh, at that warm water, it sucks the bait fish up here. And when you have bait fish, then you're gonna have, you're gonna have the game fish, like these browns that we're, that we're chasing today. We're fishing anywhere from three to five feet of water uh, today. We tried it earlier. We were fishing 10 to 12. Not any success, we could see the bottom. It was really clear and, and cold. So we slid in and uh, when you do that, you gotta bring your baits up a little bit. So right now behind the planer boards, we're only fishing, uh, fishing our floating wraps, probably, well, anywhere from 15 to 25 feet behind the board right now. And uh, they're staying just above the bottom. So every once in a while we're hooking up on some rocks cause there's some really big rocks in here. But otherwise they're right in the zone where they gotta be to catch these browns. Nice driving, John, right nice. over the top of them. That's what we said, that little finger. You got a good hook on him. Okay, coming at you. Yeah. Nice job. Yes. That's a beauty. That's a dandy. That's, That's a beauty. That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. That's a beauty. You know, this time of year in early spring, it's very, very critical to get your bait away from the boat, whether you're casting or trolling like Nick Nault alluded to. And boards can be a great way to do that. Yeah, not only for, for trout, also in the upper Midwest here, musky fishing and walleye fishing boards work equally as well. Absolutely. Now make sure to tune in for next week's show because we're going to have Tony Roach talking about early season walleyes. That's going to be a good one for sure. Uh, and as always, we want to remind you to help stop the spread of aquatic invasive species anytime you leave any body of water clean, drain, and dry. And don't forget to head over to your local Fleet Farm store because our friends at Seafoam are giving away a rigged Lund boat. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty awesome as well. You know, for giveaways, we have our annual Angling Buzz giveaway in conjunction with Fleet Farm. You can register either online or in your local Fleet Farm store. Well, show's about over. Uh, I want to thank you for joining us this week. I'm Troy Linder. And I'm Nick Linder. We will see you next time. This week's Buzz Bite Report. Tony Roach. Ray Brosto. Lee Talkin here. Brad Durick up here on the Red River. Muskegon River. Leech Lake. Devil's Lake. Beautiful Lake Trevelyan. Black. Top water's been really, really fun. Go to the plastics. Bass like this. A lot of wallies like that. Giant bluegills. Fresh report from Lake of the Woods. Grand Traverse Bay. Alexandria, Minnesota. Get out, get fishing, have fun, rock and roll. Take care.